us to model how long it takes to flip heads on average. If you just keep flipping a coin, you won't, you'll you get heads on the first flip sometimes. Not half the time, right? That makes sense. But also, sometimes it'll take longer than one flip to get heads. Hence, by the gambler's room, you might flip tails, tails, heads, or tails, 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 heads, or you know, 16 tails followed by a head, probably a leg. So what I want to do is I want to collect some data on how many flips it takes us to get heads. Does that make sense? Rory, go ahead. Do you do like you flip it and you slap it on your hand? Does that help change it if everybody does it, just flips it and checks it? Uh, I think, I think, flips physically, can I see your coin real quick, Karen? I think as long as you get it in the air rotating and you stop it, I don't think it matters if you slap your hand or not. It would matter, this does matter, and we'll analyze this in 243. If you spin the coin on a desk and let it come to rest, that actually isn't 50-50 anymore. The weight. That's like 40-60, yeah, it's actually pretty crazy. But if you flip it, I think as long as you interrupt the spin and slap it down, I don't think it matters if you slap it on your hand or not. Because, if you think about it, there's, it's pretty much random what you're grabbing. Yeah. So that, that I mean, obviously, wherever you grab it at, when you slap it down, it's the opposite of that. But because you're random going into that, I don't think it matters. Yeah. Fair? Yeah. So let's do this. I hope this doesn't confuse the hell out of you. I'm going to try to phrase it differently than the last class. I want you to do the experiment 10 times, which means you have to flip until you get heads 10 times. But keep track each time of how many flips it takes you to get that. Does that make sense? So we stop after we get heads. And then you do and it then again. Do, again. And then start again. So let's suppose you flip heads right away. That's one. Write down one. Then flip again. Suppose you get heads right again. Write down one again. Then flip again. Maybe it's tails. Then flip again. Maybe it's tails again. Then flip again. Maybe now it's heads. That's three because you want tails, tails, heads. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. Have at it. I confused the hell out of our class and I guess I didn't count it. If you, if you want to, Jake. <laughs> Collect some data. We'll come back and...